Hello YouTube, as you might be able to tell here from the UPS box and I've got a priority mailbox here, Tim's been getting some toys. I wanted to show you exactly what showed up. Check that out. How's that? Pretty cool. We have a Gemsbach horn, approximately 30 inches long. Perfect for processing into a horn bow. I'm going to try making a Turkish Turkish style bow out of it, but Adam Karpovich, he hasn't really done it yet, so he doesn't really know exactly how it's going to turn out. But suggested that I try it on a slightly less stressed out bow, a longer one. I also have this to show you. This was the other package. Something like 21 sinews. Yeah. That's quite a nice hefty bundle. They look beautiful. Now I kind of understand why the Chinese like to uh, cook them. They, they look charming, you know, clear, translucent, very nice. So I'm going to get to pounding them out and flattening them into fibers. And Oh man, I'm just excited. So you can probably guess what this is all uh, going towards. We have horn, we have sinew. I'm going to be making at least one bow. The first of which I want to be... Let me see if I can flip the camera around. Right here. The first of which I want to be fairly traditional. The second one I want to be a little bit more eclectic, maybe try out some different materials. I know that nylon has a modulus of elasticity which is very similar to sinew, but a significantly higher or at least a comparable breaking strain. It can be stretched at least 20% of its overall length before it's in danger of breaking. According to Adam, uh, Adam K, that's somewhere between a minimum of 8% and upwards of 20% for sinew. Which, so it's at least comparable, if not superior, to sinew. I said, why not try? What's the harm? What's the worst that'll happen is I'll waste a little bit of wood, and the best that'll happen is I'll make a bow that'll perform, you know, okay. So it'll be fun, and that's really what's on my plate now. I still haven't received the wood, so I'm waiting for that. When it comes, I'll show you, then I'll show you all the different pieces of wood that I have arrayed to make the different bows that I'm planning on making. Thanks for watching. Check in and I will update you guys.